Bond Beauty, and the Get Together Pack is out. So I created a save with six babies and one um, adult so that we could look through the not get together, growing together. Is it growing together? I think it's growing together. Yeah. Um, growing together back. And we can check out all of the new items and we can check out what the babies do. So I named each baby according to the little aspiration that they can have um, or the trait that they can have. I guess is what you would call it. So like there's calm, there's intense, there's wiggly, there's cautious, there's sensitive, and there's sunny. So there are six babies and then we have our girl Harper Castle. And I did move into the brand new um hold on. Let me show you. Let me show you. There is a brand new world. This is San Sequoia. So this is the brand new world that comes with this pack. Um, I probably should have read that. Hold on. Let's go back. San Sequoia began as a small fishing town, then became a hub of the fishing and canning industry due to the influence of local fishermen turned entrepreneur by Yanni Robles. The Robles family is still very much entrenched in the area, even as it has expanded over time thanks to Gilbert Gilberts. Today, San Sequoia is home to cozy streets, a beautiful park with gardens, and a quiet suburban neighborhoods. Oh, yeah, and quiet suburban neighborhoods. It is the perfect place to raise a family. Oh, look at the little well. Okay, so this is San Sequoia. So, I did not add anything to this. This is how it comes. We have the ropeless family up here in their lot. We have a vacant lot here. Um, this is called Anchor Point Wharf. Once the center of a bustling fishing and canning industry, Anchor Point Wharf is known as a vibrant area downtown featuring a movie theater, parklets, and more. There's plenty to keep all ages entertained. And then we have the Anchor Point Library and we have the Anchor Point Above, which is a rental, so this is a vacation rental. Okay, on this side we have Gilbert Gardens. Gilbert Gardens Gorgeous Park was once owned by Gilbert Gilberts, a land developer who helped establish the area. Now it's the perfect local locale for family trips to the gardens where amongst other activities, Sims can take a walk on one of the three sign... Oh, I cannot read today. Three scenic lake walking paths or visit the community splash pad play area. Welbert is hoping to see you soon. That was a little tongue tied. So the Robles Ruano family lives here. Um, we have Parkside Place, which is a beginning household for 18,000. It was two bedrooms. We have this lot that doesn't have anything on it for 2,000. 685 simoleons it's a 40 by 20 which is kind of strange because i don't think that's like a usual like 30 by 20 is normally one or like 40 by 40. but anyways then we have the celebration center that has fast internet great acoustics and a great study spot all right moving down we have hopewell hills hopewell hills is a cozy spot away from the hustle and bustle of town perfect place for anyone who wants wealth, space. If the suburbs are your idea of paradise, you found it here in this quiet neighborhood. Now this is where I actually moved in my little family, but the um, Michelson family lives here. Here is another lot, which is the Eucalyptus Lane one. It's 30 by 20. It is 2,290 simoleons. It has great acoustics and natural light. And then we have the Luna Sullivan family that lives here. This is the one that I picked. Um, I think it was three bedrooms and two baths. And it was like 20 something thousand. 
and she had like 32,000 because of all the kids. So this is, this is the new world and it's great. And I haven't been anywhere in it, so I don't actually know what anything else is like. There's a little splash pad thing over here, which is pretty cool. I don't know that we're going to be traveling a lot with six infants because, I mean, that's kind of a lot. But I'm actually not doing like a full playthrough on this either. We're just, we're just using it to see the things because we need to see the things. Yabahorm Agonal. Oh no, I did not mean to do that. So let's cancel out of that, exit create a sim, and go back to our family, which I thought I did, but I guess not. All right, so moving on to the house, I changed some things in the house already because it wasn't going to work with six kids. So originally there was a queen size bed down here and two baby rooms upstairs and then this one. So it's actually four bedrooms. My bad. There's four bedrooms and two bathrooms. I changed out the stuff up here and just put some beds up here. So like this is her bed and then these are toddler beds. If the babies do happen to age up to toddlers, they'll have somewhere to sleep. But down here is going to be <laughs> where all the chaos happens. So I have play mats for each one of the kids down here, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six. I have seven. I don't know why I need seven. Oh, let's get rid of one of those. Okay, we do have two changing tables and one, two, three, four, five. We need one more bed. The chances that all babies would be asleep at the same time probably isn't gonna happen. Um, I did only put three high chairs out because we only have one parent and so she really can't feed three babies at one time but you can put them in there to like calm them down I guess maybe I don't know this is going to be extremely hectic um, but other than that I really didn't change anything I made the TV bigger and I took out some chairs that were right here but this is pretty much like how this house comes I didn't I added these beds in here and these two beds so it came with one bed and this and this and a play mat in here and I just added the extra stuff but the couch all that other stuff is just what was in this um so let's move on to what came in the pack okay let's go here let's go show all and these are all the new things that came in this pack so, we have the Vibe Chair Rocker, which is just a little rocking chair. Super cute. You can sit with the baby probably in it. Here goes the Whippersnapper, which is another rocking chair. Uh, we have the Sunny Seat Up Chair. Doesn't look as comfortable, but it's cute for you know, decorating houses with. Grandpa's favorite armchair. Privacy is Groovy by Kindermaid. That is a very retro looking chair. Um, let's see. We have the Sit Crooked Talk Straight Bar Stool. We have a lived in sofa. It's leather, it's cute. I like the Sunny Seats Up sofa. It has little pillows on it. Um, we have a slatted perch love seat edition, so that would be like an outside bench. We have a family table. Tables are groovy by Kindermaid. A spot of dining table. This is a hallway table, maybe like an entryway table. You could put stuff on. A reclaimed end table. And these all come in different swatches, but I'm definitely not going through all the swatches. Um, here, what was this? Attention-worthy end table. An hourglass end table. I like that one. The reclaimed coffee table. That's actually pretty cool. I like the little glass cutout in it. The not-your-grandma's-drawers your table. This is like old library card catalogs. Most of y'all probably don't even know what a library card catalog is. I don't even know if they still have those. 
Let's see. This is a old sum history cabinet. Here is a shelf full of comfort. I actually like this. It's super cute. Let's put it on a wall so you can actually see it. Uh, I think I like this wall. There we go. It has little, um, there we go. Little wash rags on it. The little doggy. I don't know what that is. I think a lamb, and this one's a pig. Those should have been switched colors so that the pig was pink, but you know. All right. Well traveled shelves. These have little things on them. We have a genera generational but different sink. We have a new bathtub. Okay, maybe we can change one of these bathtubs out so that we can see this. Oh, that's fancy. I like that one. Here, let's move this one. It won't fit. I wasn't trying to do a lot of redecorating. Even though I love to redecorate, but, you know. Okay, there we go. There's the bathtub. Here's the toilet. Alright, here is the bathtub. It's got some fancy shower heads. Has some non-slip things on the ground. Has a whole little thing here with some soap and stuff in it. We like it. Comes in a bunch of different colors. Got all these swatches. I just want the white one though. Okay, there we go. Then we have the BFF Super Duper Friendship Kit. We have a San Sequoia Classic Upright Piano. We have a Celebration Cannon. Hmm. We have a Games Are Groovy by Kindermaid Table. This game table is the bee's knees. Okay. We have some Mountain Trailblazer Junior Plus Bicycles. They do not have training wheels on them. They are very tiny, so we like that. Oh, we have the one with the little basket and a little horn on it. We have an Around the World in 80 Bites food stall. We have a Splash Pad Emitter. Splash Pad Emitter Ball. Splash Pad Emitter Mushroom. We have the Prime of Childhood Swing Set. That is super cute. It has little flowers and stickers and stuff on it. Oh, super cute, super cute. I forgot I wanted to add a toddler into this family so that I could see the interactions between the toddlers and the infants. So I guess I will go back and do that in just a second. <gasps> we have a tree house. Oh my goodness. We can build tree houses. We definitely have to put this down here. How much does it cost? It doesn't matter. We bought it. Okay centerpiece of attention cute cute fungi reality studio apartment this is super cute I actually really love this planners amalgam of betrayal Ooh. All right, good things take time planner. We have the Pika Bamboo Planner. The Little Readers Future Leaders decal. That is cute. That could have went somewhere in this house. I don't know why they didn't use it. I'll put it over here. There we go. All right, we have a little Tooth Fairy sticker. I gotta put some walls back on. There we go. Tooth Fairy sticker. We have rainbow tooth fairy sticker it's the tooth fairy hero sticker we have hopeful features futures height chart it is a dinosaur look at him he's got on a little bow tie and a hat he's super cute all right we have a tooth fairy poster we have another tooth fairy poster we have oops there 
tree decal. Super cute. It has an owl in it. Um, we have this one, which is the World's Wonders decal. We have a Recreational Center Fitness decal. We have Well-Traveled Gallery Wall. Which is like some Asian or Chinese-ish pictures. Framed World Travel Poster. We have an Attention Worthy Floor Mirror. Then we have the Attention Worthy Wall Mirror. We have a Wicker Work Oval Mirror. Rescued from the Attic Mirror. That's pretty big. We have some Cousin Vic's Gifted Curtains. These are small. Um, it would probably go good in like a kitchen window or over a bathroom window. We have the Pompous Palms Curtain. Right. And it has these little balls on it um, that change colors depending on which swatch you use. And so they would make good like baby curtains, I think. We have the All Natural Artisan Chalk Sign. We have a Uni Can Do It Teddy Kid Sculpture. That is super cute. We have an Out of This World Kid Sculpture, which is like a rocket ship that they built with cardboard. We have Set Sell Teddy Kid Sculpture. So this is like stuff that the kid put together to play imaginary. That's cute. We have Life's a Hoot Owls. We have Castaway Teddy Kid Sculpture. That's super cute. Castaway, we are castaway. Over here, over there. Okay. Uh, look what I drew display. We have a plant your business here sign. A new gnome. Captain gnome. R. Alright. We have a recreation center waterfall sign. Cute, cute. We have splash pad flower fun sculptures. That is pretty big and a mouthful to say. That's cute too. We have Splash Pad Shady Leaf Sculpture. We have a Park and Place Shelter. This would also be good for the Runaway Rags to Rich challenges or any Rags to Rich challenge where you need something to cover up your bed when it's raining and you're scared outside. Um, we have a Thoroughly Modern Mobile. Mobile? Mobile? I guess it depends on where you live as to how you say that. We have a Haughty Herringbone Fireplace. Um, here. There, you can see it better. It's just a fireplace with wood in it. Looks great. Alright, we have Relics of a Creative Child. All oh, these remind me of when the kids used to make me stuff at the school and bring them home. Oh, here for a reason hand towel. We have please hang your towel pegs. Those are cute. A uh, recreation wall center. Re <laughs> recreation center wall sign. I don't know how I got that all mixed up. San Sequoia fishing lure display case. We have a box full of mysterious gifts. Sweet Dreams Moon Lamp. A retrofitted brass fishing lantern. Live Laugh Well Love Lamp. Vintage Reading Lamp. Hey, this mailbox is a lamp. That's pretty cool. Is that an actual mailbox? Um, the cheese wheel. That's a light. The two-way street ceiling lamp less short. Uh, let's see. Two-way street ceiling lamp short. We have the recreation center lobby lights. Short and medium and long. 
we have a flashlight wall light, which looks like this. Okay. We have a vintage scone. We have a fire light scone. Life's a ball speaker. Looks like a little ball. We have the ice box cometh refrigerator. I actually like that. It's super cute. We have the Just Like Nana Used to Make It stove that I guess I can't click on because I have insufficient funds. We have the Hood of Ages hood for the stove. Reading is groovy bookcase. This is the right one. And then there's also a left. Oh, this is this. What is this? Yeah, this is the left one. So you could put one here and one there and then have like a TV or something in between it. Also have the centerpiece. Then we have, here, let's move down here so we can see better. We have the bookcase with the square on it. We have a bookcase with a triangle and a circle. And you can put things inside those little spaces. We have the reclaimed bookshelf. Reason is not showing up. There we go. We have the re reclaimed bookshelf. So they're basically the exact same except for the things on them are a little bit different. We have a cheapskate keepsake box. Some of these words are hard to say together. Recreation center lockers. All right, the basic keepsake box. Put it down here. Yeah. There you go. Looks like a jewelry box. Then we have the truly ornate keepsake box, which is a little gold one. Then we have the park and potty public bathrooms. And I think that is it. I already had all these beds. mini camper sleeping bag. When did I get that? What pack is that? Is that this pack? Yes. So it's not all. Let's see if I can filter out. Where are we at? What is this? Mm, I can't. Go get famous get to work, get together. No, that's not it. It's growing together. <laughs> Here we go. Growing together. There we go. Alright. Let's see. We already did all of these. So we do have a new bed option. This is the Great Shapes Great Nights bed. It has little designs on it. This is the Woven Whims Cane Leave, Leave Double Bed. This is a new bunk bed. This is a bunk bed desk combo with the little shapes in it. And also some artwork, some scissors, a protractor, some paint. There's scotch tape, a calculator, a ruler, crayons, and books. That's pretty cute. This is the double bunk bed. Here's a little sleeping bag. There's another sleeping bag. You, this one is locked. You can't do that one. And the baby bliss bassinet is locked too. You have to reach the gold in the baby shower event. And for this one, you have to reach silver in a slumber party event. So I'm guessing there are now slumber parties and baby showers. Um. This is the unique sheep seat. Bah. All right, we already did those rockers. We did those chairs, the couches. We did not look at this little potty. So this is one of the new little potties. And this is another one. So those are super cute. Uh, let me see if there's anything else that I missed. We do have this uh, horsing around with crabs. We have a unicorn 
unicorn unicornucopia of clutter. Uh, let me see. I think. Okay, we have this changing table that you can put in bathrooms now. We have this changing table. Comes with a trash can. You have the changing table by itself with no trash can. You have the way to play play mat. Um, you have trash can by itself. Let's see. We did all the rest of those. There is a right track backpack, which comes in an owl, a sheep, a bee. I don't know what that is. A unicorn, maybe? A dog? A, a well? Plane? A cow plant backpack? cat and then you have the someplace suitcase and I think that's it I think we went over everything let's take these out all right and then we will get into some gameplay as soon as I add a toddler into the family I forgot that I wanted to see the interactions between a toddler and an infant. I might be asking for a lot putting the toddler. Maybe I need another parent. Let's see. We're gonna add a sim. Yes, you're out. Huh? Yes, you're out. My toddler. And we don't really care what their name is. Um, Christopher. What's her last name? Castle. Yeah, and we'll just randomize. He's clingy. That's that's not gonna be great for us. Can we be independent? Yeah. All right, so now there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So there can't be anybody else in the house. Well, that's, yeah. that's it's about to be an amazing gameplay with crying babies. And um, yeah, so this is our growing together family. And we're gonna play them as soon as I figure out what I'm doing wrong. Okay, there we go. Alright. Probably should turn up my volume. Alright, so here we have Harper, we have Christopher, we have Wiggly Baby, Sunny Baby, Sensitive Baby, Intense Baby, Cautious Baby, Calm Baby. I did not do them based off of their looks or anything, we just randomized it, and that's just where it fell, so. We're going to get into it. See what the interactions are. Alright, so we have our toddler who can go in the house by himself, I'm guessing. But I don't really know how we get all these babies inside. Do we have to carry them each one by one? Because you can't click them and drag them. So let's do pick up and pick up. Can you pick up more than one at a time? How many can you pick up at one time? Oh, she's going to put her on a play mat, I guess. All right, she put her on a play mat. And I'll go pick up another one. We're gonna just keep doing pick up and hopefully she goes and puts them all on a play mat. And this baby should be able to go inside by himself, I would think, but maybe not because he can't climb stairs. We'll see. All right, so so far, we have 
two babies in the house. And here comes Christopher walking on his own. Please walk up the stairs. Okay. Yep, he's good. Good, good, good. He's not going to be able to get upstairs to his room, though. That's going to be great. But he can sleep down here. It's fine. He's going to also need a potty. Because I didn't put any potties out. Because I was thinking, you know, newborns don't need potties. But let's go here and let's give him this cute little potty time buddy. Let's pick him a color. We'll do this little green one. And we'll put it right here. There you go, bud. Alright. She's putting this baby in a bed. Which baby is this? This is Wiggly Baby. Alright, you go keep it on getting kids. And we'll get them all inside. And out. Out of the uh, weather. She just put her on her little mat. Yeah, you could have put them... Gonna put them here. All right, so she just threw them all down, and now she's taking this baby and putting her on the ground too. I didn't ask you to do that. You could have left her. All right, so we're going to. All right, pause. Where's the toddler? What are his interactions with the kids? He can do sing a song, entertain, blow raspberry, babble, or watch sensitive. Um, so this is the sensitive baby. So that's pretty cool. Let's see him sing a song to Cautious. Alright, and you should probably go get the ones that are crying. So, Sunny Baby is crying. Let's do tummy time with Sunny Baby. Why are you picking that one up? He was playing with her. Why are you picking her up? Why are you taking her outside? What are you doing? Why would you put her back outside? Pick her back up, please. Okay, take her in here. Put Cautious down here. Oh, you're gonna feed her. Okay, she's feeding her. That's fine. Quirk revealed gassy. So Sunny has some tummy issues. Infants with gassy quirk will be gassier, which makes them fussier due to discomfort. Each infant is different from the next and has three infant quirks that can be discovered over time. To read more about Sunny's new quirk, visit the trait section in the Symology panel. Alright, Wiggly has gassy quirk. Um, feeding tinkler. Cautious often pees while being fed. Infants with feeding tinkler quirk are more likely to use their diaper during feedings. Each infant is different from the next. Oh, we already read that part. Alright, uh, quirk revealed. Snuggly sleeper. Sensitive, prefers to fall asleep when being held. Infants with the snuggly sleeper quirk cry when they're put down to sleep even if they've been soothed. They prefer to sleep while being held or in a back carrier. Cautious prefers to fall asleep when being held, in and Sunny seems to particularly enjoy being held. She has the loves being held quirk. That's awesome. So you just left this baby outside, and she's tense because she's like, why, why are there so many kids? <laughs> you didn't choose this life, but it chose you. Yeah. Uh, Alright, let's um do a friendly introduction. Why? Alright, so we're just we're just I guess we're not gonna be friends with her. She probably could have helped with the kids. Quirk rebuild friendly hiccups. So Sunny seems to hiccup quite frequently. Infants with frequent hiccups have more gas in their tummies and hiccup more frequently. It's like, oh, some human interaction. Okay, well, we have to go pick up this baby and put it inside. She's the only one that's crying still. 
the rest of them fell asleep. Okay, pick her up. Good job. And then you can talk to your friend. Oh, New beam, Harthic, Swafa. Okay, well, y'all are gonna fight. And the toddler's outside too, so. Okay, let's introduce the baby to Yuki. Let's see how that goes. Like, hey, do you want to see this little baby that I found on the ground? Isn't she cute? First visitor's milestone unlocked. Knock, knock, who's there? Kasha's first visitor. Kasha's finally met another sim outside of her household. Well, that's cute. She got a milestone for that. Alright, we're going to take her inside. And we're going to put her down here. And then she needs to go to the bathroom, so... probably do that and then what's our toddler doing he's cool he's just he's chilling here you can come talk to the stranger okay or you could stand over there and just talk to yourself I guess they're not really moving doing anything that I asked them to so um We'll start. Okay, here. You're not bottle feeding her, so, like, what's going on? Oh no, there's babies crying. A lot of them. Alright. For some reason, my sim is just stuck outside. She's not doing anything, so. How do we fix that? Okay, I think I broke the game. She's literally not doing anything. All these babies are gonna get taken away. Alright, so Wiggly Baby hates wake up time. It, Wiggly rarely wakes up in a good mood. Infants with the hate wake up time quirk are more likely to behave like grumpy bunnies when they wake up from a nap or sleep. Intense rarely wakes up in a good mood, so she has the same one too. Ma'am, what is, what are we doing? Here, can you just do something other than stand there? You can go home. Okay, well I guess my game broke because nobody's moving. Like at all. Oh, the baby's moving. Okay, who milestone unlocked? Ah! Calm might not be able to talk, but cooing sounds are a great step in verbal communication. Have her socialize with other sims or stuffed animals to practice more. Infants can be a real handful, especially for new parents. I specialize in child care, and I've helped young families in your neighborhood plenty of times. I'd be happy to help out for a few days if you're willing to accommodate me. Sure. Please come help, because right now nobody's moving. All right, so this lady's coming to help us, which is great. Um, while I try to figure out what's going on with this girl, she's not moving at all. I think the baby's broke her. Sunny's very hungry. Be sure to feed her before she gets taken away. I'm literally trying. Hey, old lady, can you fix the babies, please? My girl is broken for some reason. Um. Testing cheats on. I don't really know how to. I don't have MCC. Reset object. There you go. Did that fix you? Did this baby break you? Is that what happened? Can you go use the bathroom? Okay, so she's fixed now. And all the babies are crying. That's awesome. Alright, can you pick this baby up? Oh, 
Sensitive is a sensitive infant. These infants are inclined to get diaper rash, be picky with food, and can more easily become overstimulated by too much play and social interaction. However, they also rest more peacefully through the night when sued. Alright, I need you to just get in here, and if you pee on yourself, you pee on yourself. Alright, let's put this baby down. Now let's change this baby. Oh, did you know? And then she's mad. So let's bottle feed her. Alright, she's got the toddler, which I don't really need help with him. That's fine. We need to. We're trying, we're trying. Alright, Christopher has a good appetite. Alright, we're gonna come. I just need to change her diaper and feed her. Alright, this old lady is gonna feed somebody. We're changing a diaper in here, it's taking forever. So it's a lot easier when they just throw them up in the air. She's about to pee on herself and on the baby. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. What's going on with this baby? Let's, um... Let's give her a bottle. Oh, no, she went to sleep. Why would you throw this on the floor? There's literally a diaper thing right here. Alright, so some of the babies stopped crying and went to sleep. First blowout milestone. Yuck, it was bound to happen, but Wiggly had his first blowout. Hopefully the diaper will hold next time. Alright. Let's go change this baby. This lady's not really helping. Like, can you... Can you grab a baby? Oh! Can you change his diaper? She's stuck again. There you go. Alright, can you change his diaper now? Please. And then we're going to... Check infant. Or we'll feed her. We'll feed her. And then we can... Well, she's asleep. Oh, he peed all over her. <laughs> Pee on caregiver, milestone unlocked. Fine cover. Wiki Wiggly accidentally peed while getting his diaper changed. No promises on his this repeating, but for now it's probably a good idea to take a shower. Alright. So he's done. So don't step on that, baby. Alright, let's put Wiggly here. No, no, he's still sad. What does he need? He's hungry? Okay. Let's get fed. Well, I guess not. I guess you put him down. Okay. How about you get fed? Oh, I forgot I can click on the baby and have them have somebody feed him. Hold on, where are you at? Here you are. Alright, so get fed. Baby care. First bottle feeding. Get fed. Alright, he's eating. Oh, Vlad's here. Have a joy. 
Alright, so she... What is she looking at the TV for? Alright, you're done with him. Can you please put him down? There's so much going on. I feel like I hear water running. Okay, lady, can you help do something? Oh, okay. So they're all getting their first visitor milestone unlocked, which is great. Why'd you put her down and not feed her? Get fed by Eleanor. There you go. Oh, All right, she's gonna put Christopher down, and then you need to change, wake her up, and all right, we're trying to get all of these babies. I don't know what she keeps doing. Cradle infant. Okay, that's, that's awesome. But can you? Oh, look, he's going to the potty. Good job. Okay, he's sleepy. How about you try to go to sleep? Oh, yes, yes. It needs to be changed again, though. Alright, so Cautious Baby just blew her diaper out. Okay. I want you to... Change her diaper. <laughs> she just peed on the caregiver. And this girl keeps breaking. Like, I don't know what her malfunction is. I feel like if she would just be a little more efficient, she would go faster. I also wish you could just drag the babies and put them in the baby bed. Uh, All these screaming babies. Alright, Christopher used the potty. And... I don't know why we're just holding this baby. Like, change your diaper. Alright, let's see. Can we do... Get outfit changed, get fed by... Alright. Coup milestone unlocked. So we got another coup milestone. And sunny coup milestone. And Christopher is very angry. He's tired. So why don't you go here and take a nap. Okay, why don't you get your diaper changed? Oh, oh, Oh. I mean, I just don't understand why the lady's here. She's not really helping. Oh. 
All right, Happy Spitter. Calm is prone to spitting up during feeding. Infants with Happy Spitter quirk are perfectly normal. Their digestive systems are still maturing. Um, Calm really loves to eat. Infants with a good appetite quirk will always accept the opportunity to feed and they'll finish almost any food, regardless of how hungry they are. Okay. She didn't even change her diaper. It would really help if they would do what I'm asking them to do because... Check her. Check her because she's stinky, like... Change her diaper. <laughs> Alright, he's mad because he's tired. Here, let's let you come play. Let's see. You can play with intent. Calm started moving her little arms to reach for nearby objects. Now that she can ask for toys and play with the play mat toys, Calm can learn how to adeptly use her fingers. Oh. Alright, there you go. Play with her. Sing her a song. Oh. Oh, in a bosh. Okay, so we have lots of babies that are asleep. Uh, Sobelweb? Oh, blow out oh, stone for calm, oh. baby. Uh. Oh. <laughs> she changed her. She's great. <laughs> what are you doing? It's like she doesn't know which one to, to do anything with. She's not changing anybody. She's just putting them back on the ground. Okay. So can you change her diaper? And then can you change her diaper? Oh, At least she's feeding them and they're not getting taken away, but... Agonal? Alright. So, I need this lady to go help with the babies. I'm gonna finally calm down a little bit. They're not all screaming. They are... They are still dirty, though. Aww. Okay, how about you put her here? No, put her there. It's fine. Put her somewhere. Let's go change another diaper. Alright, intense is an intense infant. These infants have big emotions and are easily entertained, but they are also more difficult to calm when in a bad mood. Intense started moving her little arms to reach for nearby objects. Now that she can ask for toys and play with the playmat toys, she can learn how to adeptly use her fingers. So they're all starting to move their little hands and play with the toys. Help him? <laughs> Reginu. Do something with them. Like, here, can you? Uh, Sobelweb? Uh, oh, tell her help. Nope. Now this yes. baby's crying. Alright. I guess once they introduce to them, then she can do something with them. Oh. 
All right, you're gonna put the baby to bed. Smelly, or is that you that's smelly? Nope, the baby's smelly. Can you change her diaper, please? I I just don't really understand why she keeps picking them up. Here, go take a shower really quick. You can get your needs in order. Okay, she got a shower, so maybe she'll be a little more responsive. I swear I hear running water. Why? What is... I don't see anything. Alright. Free air tinkler. Watch out. Calm frequently pees during diaper changes. Infants with the free air tinkler quirk are more sensitive to the air temperature in the room during diaper changes, which results in them peeing frequently during them. Okay, are you feeding this baby or are we just holding her? She's sleepy. Put her here. Put... Yeah, get Harbor to put you to bed. Alright. Now, go to sleep. Now that she's asleep, you go eat something before it all starts again. Right now, everybody's asleep. No, just leave her there then. And go eat something. She'll eventually go to sleep. Okay, calm yourself down. There you go. You're nine nine. All right. At least they're quiet. All of them still need to be changed. I hear water. That's really gonna bother me. Where is it coming from? Oh, why'd you turn on the TV? Yep. Now we're gonna have crying kids. Here, play with your toys. Nope, not you, not you, not you, not you. Okay, where are you at? What is she sad for? Awake and sad. Okay, here. Play with the toys. There was other beds you could have put them in. Alright, so let's... Oh my god. Stop watching TV. Stop, 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 stop. Stop. Alright, we're passing out. It's fine. I'd probably pass out if I had to take care of six infants and a toddler too. So it's fine. It's fine. Alright. Let's do... We want to pick her up and put her in her bed. Okay, we have sad babies everywhere. Again. Alright, so let's go change his diaper. Change his diaper. Alright, Kasha started moving her little arms and reached for nearby objects. Good job. Alright, we got this boy. We're gonna take him in here and change his diaper. So we're just trying to get to like learn them right now. So here's their symbology. So he's wiggly, gassy, and hates wake up time. And then here's where you view their little milestones that they have. So Wiggly hasn't achieved any milestones in this category for the selected age group. But he has had first visitors, peed on caregiver, first diaper blowout. Um, born, first smiled. And then it'll go toddler, child and teen, young adult and elder, and then this is all ages. 
So each one of them has their own little milestone. So like she learned how to reach first visitors, born, first smiled. And they're all different, which is why I picked so many babies to do each one different because I kind of wanted to see how their their play was, but it's hard to really play with this many babies because they're just all crying. So. And I don't know when she's supposed to sleep. Alright, so we're gonna let her try to calm down and put herself to sleep. Or she's there you go. She fell asleep. It's fine. And Harper went upstairs and went to sleep. So now it's just this lady with the kids who's not really doing anything. And I still hear water running. I know y'all hear that. But she left the shower on or something. But it's not. Driving me crazy. Okay. So she's changing baby's diaper. Oh, she peed all over. <laughs> All right, so Kasha's got peed on caregiver. All right. She's hungry. Where's she at? All right, let's let's let her get fed. So many influences. So Sunny has Sunny Gassy loves being held frequent hiccups. And then she has these little milestones. Learn to reach, peed on caregiver, first visits, born, learn to coo, first smile. So it's neat how they all have different <laughs> How dare you hold me? She doesn't want to be held. And now she's sad because she's hungry and she's sleepy. Alright, so let's let her get fed. Hi, Harper. And maybe we'll get them all soothed here in a minute. Okay. Yeah. Put him down. Let him go to sleep. He's still stinky though. She doesn't change his diaper. Maybe he needs a bath. That's what he needs. He needs a bath. Alright. So feed her. Alright. So we're, we're doing okay. They're not all screaming. Alright, so so far it's a lot of changing and feeding and stuff. But I wanted to see these milestones and like their little quirks. I may go in and delete some of these kids now that we've seen little milestones and just play with one of them um i was trying to get a feel for like each one of the personalities but it's really hard to do that uh with all these babies because it's exhausting so we'll probably go into my other save Alright, so we're going to save this, and then I'm going to go into, I have a household that I played when infants came out. And we'll go to that household and just check out that baby. And, yeah. It's not in this world, though. It's in a different world. 
It's fine. Because that's a lot of babies and a lot of crying. So, we will go right here. Into our Amber and Abby save. And they live in Brindleton Bay. Because at the time, this house wasn't available. Um, this, this land. Or whatever. World. It wasn't available yet. But, so, here's little baby Abby, and here's Amber, and Abby is angry because she's tired. She literally could go to sleep. She cries a lot. Um, Amber, I mean, Abby is a wiggly infant. I'm gonna let her use her diaper and then let me get her a play pin. I mean, a play mat and whatever else I need to get her. Let's see. just filter out because it's way too much. Alright, so growing together. And let's do this baby playmat. Let's put it out here. And I used this dresser, but we can get rid of that and just get this little changing table. It doesn't. There we go. It matches. Uh oh. Move objects on. All right. So now we can set this right here. Maybe put this a little bit more over, and then. That's good. And why are you not in your... I don't know how she got out. So... Let's let her use her... Okay, she just used her diaper. So, there, there's that. Can you crawl here? No, she can get carried <laughs> to there. Let's crawl around. All right, crawling baby. All right, how about you put Abby here so we can see how this tummy time situation works. Just one baby. That was a lot of babies. It really was. I just, I don't know how I'm going to do the 100 baby challenge now with these new babies. I just, it's going to be so hard. All right. Okay, I did not say to put her down there. I said, could you please put her over here? All right, so Abby is gassy. We want her to go on our play mat. Okay. Work with us here. All right. Now, play with it, Abby. What are we doing? Check infant. Play with Abby. Why she not laying down? Pin Kubu. Oh, uh, Koiba. There you go. Play with the toys. Oh. Ow! Can you please put her back down. Oh. I guess she's feeding her. Oh. 
scared now. Oh. Oh, yibs, yibs. Oh. Huh. Oh. Okay. Let's put her there. <laughs> oh, Goose of the Morn. <laughs> Go to sleep. Sibafa, Sibafa. Okay, we're gonna try to go to sleep. Okay, she's a snuggly sleeper. So she prefers to fall asleep when being held. Well, too bad. There you go. Aw, she sleeps on her tummy. I don't know how safe that is, but look how cute it is. Alright, we're gonna let her sleep until she wakes up. Then we'll attempt. Oh, she pooped her diaper. Oh, glory. Sure, you can come over, but you didn't help very much with the other kids, so. She's stinky, so she's going to need a bath. Well, let's get a bubble bath. And Bobby. This is like the um the grandma of San Sequoia, I guess. Uh, slept through the night milestone unlocked. No, Abby slept through the night. No fussing, crying, or interruptions. Just peace and quiet and maybe some snoring. Well, that's good. Okay, I don't know why you're not eating something while the baby is asleep. Can you eat something really quick? Oh, <laughs> okay, let's stop talking to her. <laughs> I want to show, like, the interaction and stuff with the babies and it not just be in them crying the whole time. <laughs> let's give Abby a bubble bath. Uh, you don't chat with Eleanor. And you give the baby a bath. Thank you. Alright. So here are her milestones. She had a baby. And that's all. Alright. What are Abby's milestones? Abby's milestones are she learned to grab, she learned to reach, she slept through the night, she had her first baby food, her first bath, her first bubble bath, her first diaper blowout, she learned to crawl, she learned to creep, she learned to sit up, she lifted her head, she rolled over to tummy, she rolled over to back. She actually didn't do all of that though, but um, because she was already an infant that I played with, I guess that's why. <laughs> Oh, All right. no, so we're good. We're giving her a little bath and then we're gonna feed her. And then she's gonna be good. And then we're gonna see what this tummy tom is about. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Okay, so she's on her play mat, and she's already sad. She's hungry, and mom's spending more time talking to Eleanor than she is paying attention to baby. Let's get over here, and let's feed 
don't know why breastfeed is the option that's chosen, but sure. In love a breastfeeding queen. Queen. Look at her play with her toys. I'm crying. Though. Okay, come pick her up and feed her, please. Thank you. Because the babies get tired so quick. Oh, 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 Luke. Oh, Limla. Limla pen. Kissing. Okay, why are you gonna put her in the trash can? Put her down. Alright. So hey, she's. Bushy. She's sad from <laughs> gas Way trouble. Up. Let's have you do tummy time. No, miss. Oh, yeah. So okay, so you this is what tummy you time looks move. like. Oh. <laughs> oh, Gariz Bonkira! Oh, Suplo! <laughs> and then they get up on their knees. And this is how they learn to crawl. <laughs> Not really watching her. Though. <laughs> Baby feeding preferences, check yeah, infant, put alert. Abby in back carrier. Alright, so she's set up. And now she can play with her toys. She doesn't like the TV because it's a loud noise. Shows the hiccups. All right, hold on. We can sell these. We don't need this stuff. I just wanted to see supports toddlers. So I wonder if they can't start potty training until they're toddlers, or if you can start them as infants. I would think toddlers, but... Yeah, like, she doesn't have any interactions with the toilet. And neither does mom. So you'd have to wait until they're a toddler. But I think they age up... I think they're only... Infants for six days. Yeah. So she's been a baby for three. Alright, what does she need? She just needs to use the bathroom, but... Like, I don't know why it's not just her... Why she doesn't just do it, you know? Like, why do you need somebody to come get you? Alright, we just need to change her diaper. And then we're going to put her to bed. Like, what else can mom do with her? She can introduce her. She can comfort her. She can play with her. How do you play with her? Let's see that. Alright, she's going to change her diaper. Oh, 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 so now she's going to comfort her. Oh. 
Okay. What are we doing now? We're just, just holding her. Oh. What does she need? Aha! Uh -huh. Branka. You huh. just got your diaper changed. Oh, oh she's just Cassie. No. Alright. And then let's do... How do you put her in the baby care? Go blow raspberries at her. <laughs> oh, that's cute. Okay, put Abby in the back carrier. Or not. Hey, you put her down, but she's not gonna stay asleep if you turn the TV on, so let's not do that. What is this? Resume BLT. Yeah, girl, go resume your food. We don't, we don't want to starve you. Oh, oh, the door. Oh, baby's crying because the TV's on. And she's gassy. Alright, so now you can do tell bedtime story, soothe the sleep, kiss goodnight, let Abby out. Her baby care pretty much stays the same. Like, but I was wondering if you put her in a back carrier, like, what all you can do with her in the back carrier. Like, could you go to the bathroom? Like, obviously, you probably couldn't take a shower. <laughs> Big fan of letting your kid cry it out, but... Oh, you can do small talk. Do... Play peekaboo, read a toddler book. Zebora? Huh? She's finally asleep. Oh. Do not uh -huh. turn that TV on. Uh -huh. Jeremy? Okay, Grandma doing push ups over there. Alright. She's rolling. Look at the little thing sleeping. Such cute animations. Oh, Fred. Well, as long as I don't wake her up, I don't really care. Let's go to sleep. She's gotta be tired. Alright. So you're just baking cakes? Well, okay. You're just gonna bake another cake? Hey now, I think we might be doing a little too much. Let's put these away. We don't need any more cakes, thank you. I guess we'll keep one for Abby's birthday. She becomes a toddler. Okay, she's up. Let's put Abby here. And let's do mashed mango. Oh. All right. She's breastfeeding her, so I don't know that she's going to eat baby food, but... I wish we could get her used to the TV where she wouldn't cry every time it came on. 
What's she upset for? Awake and angry. Loves being held. Time for wiggles. Oh, good baby. She's a sweet baby. Alright, we're putting her down and she's crawling. A little slow, but she's, she's making her way over there. Making my way downtown. Alright. Now she's gonna sit and watch TV. <laughs> She's so cute. And then it's gonna she's gonna cry because of the lab noises. I wonder if the baby can play at Time. Let's travel. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Let's travel. We want to travel to the splash pad. So I want to see if the babies can play. Oh, Babel Milestone unlocked. Blah, blah, dag, dag, gaga. Is that simlish? Not quite, but getting close. In a very basic form, Abby is starting to communicate her feelings. Socializing with more sims and even stuffed animals will surely help shape those syllables into full words. She got a milestone. Alright, let's go here and how do you go to the splash pad? Celebration Center. Guess we're going there, and then we'll try to see if we can get over to Splash Pad. Oh. All right, we're carrying our baby. Let's oh, put her in a back carrier. Bit of wicks. Put her in the back carrier. There yeah, you go. Yeah, yeah. She loves yeah, yeah. it. We love it too. All right. Where is the splash zone? It's not something you can actually go to. Why would they make it then? Here is some picnic tables. And this is, I don't know, a statue or something. Oh, here it is. Here's the splash zone. Can we go here, though? Go here together. Don't put her down. Why would you put her down? She needs to come with you. What are you doing? Did you just leave your baby? Hold on. Oh, okay. She's she's running with her. I thought she just left her on the ground out there and I was about to be really mad. Alright. And she's crying. Because she's angry because she got put down. Makes sense. There you go, play in the water. Oh look, she's standing. Oh. oh, look at her. She said, you make my day so much better. Thanks for making me smile. Oh. Okay, but, but can you like play here if you're a kid or a toddler? Abby's too far away. Because why would you build it if they can't play it? Maybe she's just too little. Amber's very tense, so what can Amber do? Play in water while holding Sim. Alright, let's play in the water. You're supposed to hold her. And Zook Niara! Okay, so she can play on all of these, so it's probably an age thing. She's loving it, though. Oh, 
Oh, she fell in the water. Look at her crawling. Look at her going. You just left your child over here. Oh, she's crying. And you, you made her mad. Well, okay. Yeah, here, you can sit up. Sit up. There you go. Roll over. Sit up. There you go. Look at you being a big baby. What a good girl. She's just loving life right now. Alright, go use the bathroom. I don't know if you need to take her, but you need to go to the bathroom. Uh, we're not going to give you any money, sorry. We're going to leave our baby on the ground. Oh, we go to the bathroom. Alright, you can sit up. You know you can. I just saw you a minute ago. There you go. Roll over. Yeah! Good girl! Alright, let's... Alright, we want to pick her up and put her in a back carrier. So we went. Alright, and then let's go check out this... Alright, so here's a little table, and then this is like the community center... ...thing over here. So we want to go... ...here, I guess. Oh, you could put your baby in here. When you have toddlers, you could leave them. Baby? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Playing cards and all kinds of stuff. So let's... What are you doing? Okay, you're just holding her. <laughs> That's a pretty cool little building. They have showers and stuff. What's over here? You can play chess outside. Pretty neat. There's a dog. Sure. We don't care. Alright, and there's a little playground thing over here. This is pretty neat. What is this building? Alright, maybe we should go in here. Let's go here. And her daughter's asleep, so... We have Scrabble? Is that Scrabble or Dominoes? It might be Dominoes. Alright. Like, look, I have a baby. Okay, let's go put her down over here. Oh. Hey, I know this song. This is Lean On Me. <laughs> Lean on me. You're not strong. Oh, crank is new boo. Yeah, why is she mad? She's sleepy. You could go to sleep right here. I know, you're mad because you got let down, but I cannot hold you all the time. Alright, let's see what's upstairs. Oh! Look, there's like a lot of art things you can do. There's books you can read. Computers you can get on. Another bathroom. There's a music room. This is a great community center. There's something for everybody in the family. Here, go play chess. Go join her game. Just let your baby cry it out. She'll be alright. Jeez. 
Yeah, she got put down and she's tired, so. Here, let's try to go to sleep. Nope, can't. All right. She's calm. Okay, it's fine. Here, play with toys. Play with toys. Like, I don't want to go to sleep. That's fine. Play with them. And then she's gonna try to go night night, so Dag Dag. There's a lot of people out here all of a sudden. <laughs> <laughs> Don't go pick her up and put her down. She's never gonna sleep on her own. Alright, well, let's babble. There you go. And then she can just try to go to sleep wherever she's at. I want to see, like... Oh, she can practice standing? Let's do that. Let's practice standing. How did she do it? Oh, you can pick whichever back carrier you like. Okay. She gonna go to sleep now? <laughs> I think she feeds her first. So she can babble at other kids, too. I don't know where mom went. She should probably come feed her, though. She's very tense. Oh, look, she's asleep. Let's not bottle feed her right now. We'll just let her sleep. Look at her laying on her little tummy. I wonder what the child interactions are with the kids. Oh, she can play with blocks. Hmm. Yep, you can love soul music. Ooh. At least she sleeps for a while. Look at 
you spend ten dollars on? She's still super tense. Oh, it's because we're somewhere and she's having to be around people. My bad. Oh, her mom's asleep too? Maybe sleep for a long time because I was kind of worried about that. It's almost Abby's birthday. Oh no, she, she's horrible. All right, let's get fed. Get Tessa. <laughs> and... She needs to go to the bathroom. Or I guess she already did. Okay, are we getting fed? What's going on? Alright, you're getting fed. You're good. I wish they had bathtubs. I think you can wash the baby off in the sink. I'm not mistaken. I mean, they could go home, but I want to see, like, a few more interactions. I wanted to see if she could play with these blocks. Uh oh. Quirky. A picky eater. Abby's very particular about food. Infants with a picky eater quirk are more likely to reject feedings unless they're hungry. They also aren't likely to finish their food unless they love it, regardless of how hungry they are. So that's a new one. Okay, did you clean her up? Did we do that? Okay, can you change your diaper then? Because... It's gotta be something. Nubu. <sighs> Kiss annoy. Kudlu. There you go, change your diaper. No beam. Shorg. So she can't change her diaper. Why? You changed it. Nope, she didn't change it. Just put her on the ground. How come there's no baby changing station here? That's a good question. You would think with it coming with the pack, they would have put one in here. So let's put one right here. Bam! Fixed it! Alright, so let's change Abby's diaper. Stop letting her play in the toilet. No, that's what she's fixing to go do. Oh, she fell down. Alright, then I want to find the one where you have her stand up again. I didn't get to see that. Oh. Yeah. Zimze! Bulane! What do you mean you can't change her diaper? Oh, she has diaper rash. What are you doing with her now? Put her down. Okay. Let's. Can I do stand up one? What are you doing? Press it. 
Oh. There you go. We're changing our diaper. Good oh. job. Alright. No, I don't want her play in the shower. Let's see if we can have her stand up. Tripna. Hmm. Probably if I would pick the right person to do it. Do tummy time together. Let's see what that does. We'll go over there with her and do it. Oh, let's pick her up. Pick her over here. And do tummy time. Alright. Now I do... Hmm. Oh, no, boo. Why does it not give me the option? What are you sad about? Oh, she's angry. Did she just bite her? And I missed it? She bit her. Alright. Let's do... Get set down here. Fine, sit down there. It doesn't really matter. Let's do play with the toys. Okay, well she's having fun. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's good. I just wanted to help her stand, but I don't see it again. I guess it's like certain things that she's doing. Maybe you should go night. When is her birthday? Tomorrow. Okay. <laughs> toe and mouth milestone. Abby managed to stick her toe in her mouth. What a cute display of flexibility. Oh, she's asleep. Okay. Well. I'll let her sleep, and then we'll feed her when she wakes up. I want to see her age up. So, that's what we're doing now. And then that's pretty much all that I'm going to do. I just was showing the interactions, the pack, all of that stuff. But I want to see her age up. To a big baby. I wonder if it's like infants, does she age up on her own or you have to age her up? Hey, bro, it's me, your boy Kyle. Listen, I'm coming over to your place to chill for a few days, just like old times. Doesn't that sound sick? Wait, what? You don't remember me? Ha ha ha, dude, you're so funny. Seriously, never change. Hope you have some juice ready. It's gonna be lit. Uh, sure, why not? We don't know who that is, but we're not at home, so... Alright. Baby. 
They're sleeping. Every time they spend money, I freak out, but I forget we're not on the Rags to Riches challenge anymore, so it doesn't really matter. <laughs> With, like, PTSD, I hurry up and look to see how much you spent. I do like this little community center. It's super cute. And the kids are nice. They're not messing with the baby. Well-mannered kids. Did that bear just blink? I swear it just blink. Feeling inspired, tired, and our girl is about to use her diaper and her bladder. Alright, so you should definitely change your baby's diaper. Oh, see, there was just a little age up, but, so I guess you just age them up, like, it's regular. Okay, this famous lady is being a winner. You go, why didn't you change your diaper? I think there's still a few bugs, like, they don't really do what you tell them to do right when you tell them to do it. Like, it is a little bit buggy. I don't know if that's, like, user error, but she constantly is putting the baby back down. Or picking her up. And I didn't tell her to do those. And why can't you get to it? Because you got to the bathroom before just fine. I guess she's just gonna be stinky until she ages up. Alright, let's see. Hey, where are you going? Oh, let's see if she can play with the blocks. She is playing with the blocks all by herself. Look at the girl go. Is she just slobbering? Oh. oh, we can make her chomp her finger. Oh. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I want to see you bite her. <laughs> Come back. Don't put her down. Oh. Bite her. <laughs> Jump her again. Do it again. Do it again. <laughs> That's funny. Alright, she's sad because she wants to go to sleep. Oh, Well, hold her and let her go to sleep then. There you go. Feed her a bottle. Don't tease her with it. No, oh, man. Oh, yes. She bit her again. Oops, our pop. Alright, celebrate Abby's birthday by throwing a rocking birthday party. But we're not. But you know what that does make me think of? Let's see what social events we can plan now. Because there's supposed to be baby showers. There is. So we do have a baby shower. 
keg party, toddler play date, birthday party, slumber party. Slumber party is new. Um, family reunion, dinner party, dance party, house party, cop party. So I think for sure baby shower is new and slumber party is new. I think we had the other ones. So... That's, that's pretty great. So our baby is now not a baby anymore. She is a toddler. You're just over here cooking all kinds of food. Better drink some coffee. Let's go. Oh, Alright, it is love day and it is Abby's birthday. Let's play peekaboo with her. Blow raspberries at her. And then we can age her up. Let's play peekaboo. She looks so disgusting. Uh, look at her talking. <laughs> All right, we're cooking our stinky baby up. Blue raspberries, put her back down. Picking her up again. And we're aging her up. All right. Select a trait to replace the infant trait, Wiggly. Charmer. Toddlers. Day spent playing with toys, exploring the world, and learning to communicate with words instead of tears await. This is the perfect time to start skill building for the future. Narshkul Fabachi! Oh, yeah! Oh, Eva! Dancer! Alright. So she aged up. Oh, and then now it's just Whoa. normal toddler in her in her actions Was like we already had. Oh. Um, toddler care, tell stories, all of these they <laughs> put them in these little Not things, so. but then it's just that you click them and it gets back to what it oh. used to be. Oh, Yatsubu. Small talk, get to know, talk about day, and then let's see. Milestones, toddler milestones, would be like, read your first book. So here's celebrated a birthday, and then you can always click back and see the milestones that they had as a baby, or whatever younger generation, you know, you had, you can click here to see all of them. And that's about it. This is where they start getting their empathy, the responsibility, emotional control, conflict resolution. All of those things are still the same as they were before. Our baby's really dirty. Um, so, yeah. But that was the growing together. And I hope that y'all enjoyed this stream and you learned lots of things about it. And you got to see all of the new things. Um, I will be using it, obviously, in my plays from now on. We just finished up the Teenage Runaway Rags to Riches challenge, and as soon as they fix the mods, I will be back with either the Not So Berry challenge or a 100 Baby challenge. I'm not sure which one yet. I think Not So Berry was next, so. Um, and then I have one play coming up that doesn't have anything to do with kids. Uh, I'm going to do a hundred boyfriend challenge and see if I can have a sim, have a hundred boyfriends without them knowing about each other. Uh, I need to download some more guys into the maps and stuff, but that'll be coming up really soon. Um, I'll probably play it along with the Not So Berry challenge, like do one every other stream upload so 
Uh, you can always find those on YouTube. My YouTube name is in this Twitch channel. It is X Hunted Beauty X. If you want to go rewatch any of the streams that I've done, I upload them on there once a week. Um, if you follow me on Twitch, I think you can see the uploads that I've done recently. Um, that's it. I appreciate you watching, and I will see you around real soon.